Yeah. This isn't going to really be a cruising video, guys. <laughs> um, this is going to be... I don't know. It might be... It's just moving up! Or it might be... It might be more. The series of events that happen in the next two weeks. <laughs> um, because it all depends if the lock's going to open up. Because we went down to the lock, me and mum, yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. And we spoke to a fuel boat guy who was there. Yeah, waiting to go through. And what he said, it didn't, didn't look promising, did it? No. Did no, he reckons the, the CRT came out yesterday and uh, said that they might have to put a new gate on. Which is going to take a while, right? Yeah. They said two weeks, but I think, I think that's a bit yeah. short. Hope, hope, two hope, hope. weeks to put a lock in it. Hiya! Oh, yeah. yeah, you! Oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> Where are you going with a windlass? That bloody lock shut, in it? Yeah. yeah. I don't know how long for, though. No, CRT said... We're just said talking about just, that now. Yeah, we're just talking about it. CRT said yesterday they might have to put a new gate. So, could be a couple of weeks. It's supposed to open tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Meant to, but... I can't see. see if they say it needs a new gate. Needs so a new you're gate. moving on then? You're going that way, are you? Wow. Well, I'm going to meet a friend who's coming down. Oh, right, OK. I was going to do some locks for him. <laughs> so I'll bring him down as far as he can and he'll have to moor up. Yeah. And wait for it to open. Yeah, fingers crossed. And let's hope tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Yeah. Have a good day now. <laughs> yeah. So that's another one going that's down. That's another there. one that's going to be going down. Yeah, because. We spoke to a couple oh, yesterday. Yeah, I spoke to a couple of the And they were behind us way behind us and they came back down last night yeah so, it's, so we've got to get in there's not hardly any space to get yeah. in we can make ground here we've got to, we all go with yeah them. we're gonna move off from this spot guys because one we're grounded two there's no parking three the train track is right there keep them awake at night. oh so loud they're yeah, really loud you know you just get off to sleep again and then another one comes and, oh, it's ridiculous. this is what i want to do is after the intro <laughs> um, I think uh, we're moving. We're, we are moving. Yeah, we've got to move. Right. Stir all the mud up first. We've got to move down to the lock because the railway is away from the lock down there. Yeah. And um, there is a possible parking spot down yeah. there. We've got to walk back later. But walk back later and get the um, yeah. car. Insert is also terrible here, so it would be better down there because there's a. There's an EE tower here and a Roman tower, there's not a free tower. Um, it looks like we're struggling to get up. But... <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, we're going to see what's going to happen today. We can watch yeah. the CRT, go down to the CRT and ask them. And we'll let you know. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. Pull doo! 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 Pull doo!
Maybe that's coming off of there, look. I don't think it's due to any boaters. I think this is just due to lack of maintenance, yeah. really. They all, they're all in. This was any boater that did this. Yeah, I think it's this. This gate here, you can see a massive split down the wood. They put braces in to try and repair it. And that's old. So this has been happening for a while. I don't know why they couldn't repair it last hey. winter. Absolutely ridiculous. We just sort of leave it, don't they? You can see the new bolts they've put in there to try and keep it together. There's only this one boat here mm. waiting to go up. But... The paddles are locked there, so you can't use it at all. Well, we're through... Is it Pottersfield Lock? Oh, I'm not sure what that one's called. Yeah. The one before Cobblers. <laughs> 70 yeah, done here. Yeah. Yes, out. No, not The yet. reason we um, came down here obviously is to get closer closer to the lock so we know what's going on and to get away from the railway. We're away from the railway now. We? Yeah, we're away from much quiet. We've still got a road here. Got the A that's road now. But that's all right. Uh, we've got three three boats ahead of us. Well, we're cutting bushes back. <laughs> yeah, it's very overgrown here, but it's very deep. Yeah, so we tested lucky. it yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, we, we, when we walked along yesterday, we tested it here and we knew it was okay, so... Uh, don't know really what we're going to do if we can't... And I through. can't go fishing much because I haven't got any maggots. I've run out of maggots. There's well, another boat coming down as well. Yeah, mm. later. We saw a guy walk got a past. big pile up. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to bring his mate down, so I don't know. I Personally, I don't... I'm hoping, we're all hoping that they're just going to let mm. some through tomorrow just do a temporary just to let, let a load of boats through and then shut it until they put a new lock in but it's very risky the guy said on the fuel boat it's very risky to put the water in there because the water is so heavy it's the pressure of the water against the gate because mm. i think the gate was right over like that it's bowing the way he was talking so we're gonna see is it the bottom gate is it yeah, yeah bottom right one um well we're gonna see right as you're coming in from the other way yes we're gonna see uh, we have the CRT turn up and what they're going to do because they should be here working now. Mm -hmm. Not being funny, but I mean, come on. <laughs> a lot of people are relying on this lock gate to open or gate to open. Yeah, Whatever, like the fuel lock. boat, it's his business, you yeah. know. He said, I've got boats waiting down there for fuel and everything. Mm -hmm. He said so. Yeah, so my mum, this vlog's going to continue and this vlog's going to continue until that lock's open, probably. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what so it's going to be a mashup of probably 50 million days. Yeah, well, I'll, 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 I'll probably open. just go to mum and dad's. Mm. <laughs> boom, boom. We're, I'm going to go and see them anyway. We're stuck in the marina. Yeah, I'm going to go and see them before broke. we go on holiday anyway. But we're going to go have a look at the car park now, see if it's appropriate for, to park the car. Okay, let's go. See you later. Cats are out. <laughs> oh dear, the dog's there. That's where it's bowed. It's bowed and it broke this fence here. So that's the fence it broke. See, look at the crack. So, imagine... That's the fall on that way. Yeah. So yeah, we're walking down this little footpath now. There should be a little lane here. Yeah, it goes along here. It takes us to the road. You could even take your car down this lane if you wanted to, you guys. Unless you've got a Land Rover. These houses are my, here must own a Land Rover or something because they've got a Ford. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So if you. You wouldn't be able to get in if it was high, God. Yeah. If it's flooding, then they can't get to their house. Imagine buying that house. Oh, yes. You have to go for a Ford, though, to get to a house. So, no. <laughs> I'd probably walk over this with my boots. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, I could. I've got these on. I've got fishing. I can't even boat on this part, Mum. Not that you could anyway, God. It's a bit shallow, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, so you have to cross these fords. For that house, the lot. Well, Freeman's Marsh. 28 acres of beautiful countryside. 
the North Wessex Downs area. It's Cobb's farm shop there. I think it's really expensive though. We don't have any money with us. But this is where we're going to park, and there's three spots. Yeah. We could get up up there. There doesn't say no parking or nothing, so should be allowed to park there. Hopefully. So it's the 14th, guys. The day that um, Cobbler's Lock is supposed to open, isn't it? Oh. But yes, yeah, supposed to. But. Uh, we, yeah. had an, we had an update yesterday. Yeah, we had an update on the CRT website on the 13th. Only because obviously the fuel boat down here was pressing them and calling them. <laughs> Thank That's you. the only reason they updated. But the update said pretty much that the damage is a lot more significant than they originally thought. And for that reason, uh, it's going to have to be closed for a lot longer. Um, and they're going to give an up another update on the 22nd of September. So. But I'm hoping, Which ruins our plans. well before the 22nd of um, September, so I'm hoping that it's going to open. We did... Doubtful. I think they need yeah. a whole new gate down there guys. We found out that this was supposed to be a, uh, a winter stoppage last year, and it is scheduled to be a winter stoppage this year. On the but that's not until February. Uh, February. Yeah, so... Oh, we had to... We are all sort of yesterday going to do the mm. the Bristol Channel for you yeah, guys, which is really exciting. Thinking about. But it, <laughs> the yeah, cost... Going up the Bristol Channel to Sharpness. The cost is about, worked out about £600. Yes, total £600. Yeah, with so the pilot. Can't afford that at the moment. Then you've got to have your um, fuel clean. Mm. Then you've got to have a, fuel, a full tank, tank of, of fuel. Then you've got to stay at Bristol and stay at Porter's Head. Uh, yeah, so the cost of it is just ridiculous. Yeah, you know we can't we can't afford that. So um, that's out the window. So let watch your space. <laughs> this will be fun. We might have to reverse back about no yeah, more. There's another boat came down here yesterday, but after we found out the news, he reversed all the way back. It didn't stop raining yesterday. It was horrible day. Yeah, what a very nice day today. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice today actually. Today, you just. Uh... Oh, sorry. What nice yesterday? <laughs> sorry. It's quite nice today. Um. Yeah, we've just been talking to Aussie the Fuel Boat because there is seven of the CRT members down at Lock <laughs> at the moment <laughs> trying to talking. figure out what to go, what's going to happen. But there might be a slight, a tiny little possibility that they might just let us through under their supervision. Yeah, they've had a glimmer he, of hope. He's had a word with them, and well, the boat in front of us is called Bird Song. They're um, they want to get back to their their marina in London somewhere. Mm. No, Milton Keynes. <coughs> so, Milton Keynes, so. <coughs> yeah, so there's. How many have we got waiting? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's not five to waiting. Mention the other people down the other end. On the other end coming up. Mm. Yeah, somebody just walked up and they're at the other. They're at Hunkerford. Well, but if we stay here, guys. It doesn't open in a month when we get back, and then we're there's, there's now a stop. Well, the stoppages begin on the seventh of November, so we have to, you know, get off this canal before seventh November. Otherwise, we're stuck on here for pretty much the entire winter. Yeah, which we don't really want no, to be. Dad's got a job lined up on the yeah. shops union with Jade. Yeah. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But that's why where we're heading, why we're heading up there, so we can yeah. <coughs> start And Jade can job. look after cats in January when yeah. we go on holiday again. So, uh, well, Luke's. I think we might have to be here, so Luke might have to come. Yeah, here. but yeah, it's. I don't know. It seems really hard to reverse back because even when you get to Froxfield, where there's a 72 foot winding hole, because the CRT haven't dredged, you can't turn around there because it's too sharp. Yeah, that's what Ozzy's just because he's got like a 40 foot boat and then he's got another bit on front of it. So thanks to CRT's 72. lack of maintenance again. Yeah, you can't. Because the water's so low, you you just get grounded. Mm. So you could probably turn a 50 foot boat, but not a... That means you have to reverse all the way through Foxfield Locks. <laughs> so, that, yeah, that's the update. We're hoping that we haven't got to do that, guys, because we know how stressed Andy gets mm. with the reversing. And that Olive just seems to do her own thing when you're reversing. They're not meant... I don't think they're meant to 
be reversed that much narrow boats mm. none of them seem to like it all the people I've spoken to they don't like being reversed <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna wait for the CRT and what their verdict is but yeah you can pretty much guarantee what's going yeah happen. I don't think they'll let us food all health and safety mm. I think so a little update guys yeah we've uh, just got an update from the CRT came over to us finally and it's yeah it's gonna be closed guys they're not gonna let us through the, the, the only good news I suppose is they haven't got to put a new gate they're gonna repair mm. the old gate but they have to get a crane over the field to, to do it, it take it out repair it then put it back mm. So it's, it's going to be minimum two weeks. Minimum two weeks, and which is bang when we go on holiday. Yeah, it's bang when we go so on. So it'll be annoying. Weeks. It's annoying that we can't have a holiday now and then get back and uh, go. I can't do that. Actually. I know. Right. So we're heading back to Crofton now. Nice day today. Mm. Yeah. Nice day. Because the car is still at Crofton. <laughs> because we didn't know what we we're doing. Because if we went and got the car. Took it here, and then we had to we reverse back. To reverse back so. We have to go get the car again, so we just left it there. For now. Gotta do a shop. Mm. Out of everything, out of eggs, out of <laughs> bread, out I of think, snacks, um, out of ham, I'm going to, out of cheese. I'm going to mum and dad's on Monday. Well, we are, Monday. aren't we? Yeah, I was going. I was just going to go on my own, but Josh, I think mm. he's going to come with yeah. us because we're stuck here. We've got so. a slight problem. We need a pump out. Yeah. Last time we had a pump out was the 20th of <coughs> 22nd August. 22nd of August. Yeah. And now it only lasts us really about three weeks. We have been away though four days of mm. that. So I think we, we might just make it. Yeah, we'll be able to get round until... If Josh yeah. comes with me, it's only Andy then. We've got a pump out card coming to Great Bedwin. So we thought it'd be there, but we have to go pick it up. <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to... So when we get through, if we get through, we're going to get a pump out at New uh, Hungerford. There's a pump out there. But there's a water point in Hungerford, so if we need water, we have to get our canisters, take it down the car. Yeah, so we can get water. Mm. If we we got like a hundred, hundred liters really, haven't we, John? Mm. That we could have. So yeah, so the water's not so much of the issue. Five miles back now, guys, to Crofton. Yeah. Get the car, and hopefully it should be all right there. I didn't say there's no parking. But it no, I see the fuel boat said it's private there, but there's no signs or nothing. No, he meant the cobs. Farm shop opposite. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think it's for the residents, really. Didn't say that though, so we're gonna park there. I think I was gonna be using that block anytime soon. <laughs> we're gonna to reverse around that corner <laughs> up here, and we couldn't get near to the edge because it's too shallow. Stay in the middle. Yeah. And go through that lock, and then all the way to, um, I don't know. Yeah, but I think the the winding point there is too silted up to turn. Yeah, he reckons the mm. Aussie the fuel boat reckons it's only about 50 foot you'd be able to turn there. This is an old swing bridge, that's an old uh, road sign, you know the triangular ones oh, yeah. from 1890 odd. This used to be a swing bridge here. It obviously used to tell you don't take the certain amount of tonnage across and yeah, interesting. A little bit of story for the holiday boats, you know. The ones at Aldermast and Wharf. The ABC and the Canal Time. They have to go the other way. And then we've probably got one in Newbury as well. So they've booked a holiday and they can't even cruise the KA. Bloody nightmare. All that money that goes in to the canal and they can't even keep it up. Well, like I said, they shouldn't get to this No. D. Did you see how shallow See the is? shallows. Got oh, the, Jesus. Got the mud there. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> just give it a dredge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a scam. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's not all sunshine and rainbows, guys. <laughs> Canal life. You couldn't turn a 72 foot boat in there. Maybe a 40. It's just too shallow. You know, what does our money go towards? <laughs> Maintenance, eh? Jeez. You have to come to this one, wouldn't you? Yeah. 72 turned here. This is the one you'd have to come to. How many locks is that? Four locks in it? Four or five four, locks? Yeah, four or five locks. Two so miles. Reversing. 
<laughs> Don't be fun with it. Not easy when you're on your own, is it? <laughs> Just shut the lock for him. You can't find it. Talked from to a lovely bloke there yeah. from Birmingham, I think he is. Um, he didn't know that lock was closed. Yeah, cruiser. He didn't have yeah. a clue, did he? No. But I said you could take that up the channel easily. It cost him less than a hundred pound, but it cost us six hundred pound. <laughs> yeah, because um, he wouldn't have to get a pie. Yeah, he wouldn't need to clean his fuel, nothing. And he could go whatever wherever he wants. Well, not everywhere, whatever. And then Port's, Porter's head be it cheap. goes by how many meters yeah. you are. So he's only about twenty. But he's going to join us down at Hungerford, one well, near Hungerford yeah. as well. Yeah, nice guy. So that's another one that adds to the list. <laughs> Oh, oh you're ignorant, Gits. It's the random box of apples. <laughs> so you've already got some. Yeah, we got loads. Probably from the apple tree there. <gasps> yeah, it's usually a little sign that says about a cafe, but yeah. we have no idea where the cafe is. No. It's <laughs> open 10 till 4, so if anyone knows. We can't see a cafe near here. Not that far, it's far away, yeah. isn't it? It's a beautiful scene, that, isn't it? Oh, oh. Maybe it's a fledgling. It's mm. young. Looks quite young, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, it can't fly yet. I think it's tr tried to fly from the nest. Oh, it's a young one, I think. Yeah. And it can't quite fly yet. Yeah, because it hasn't got like the red in that yeah. one, has it, Josh? Hasn't got the crest around the neck as well. There's a cr I think, I don't know what this is, some kind of crane or something, but they can't use this because it's on the wrong side, anyway, yeah, it's a crane but they can't use it because it's on the wrong side of the lock, obviously it would have to go through the lock to lift the bottom lock out, yeah. and it can't go through the lock. Almost back to Crofton now guys, there you can see the beam thing, the beam thing, the, the chimney. The loud is disabled. There she is, we're back. Beautiful Audi A4. Back in the car. Yeah. Beauty. Yeah. Let's get the cards. We're just in Great Bedwin now. Um, and we're just in the post office. So Mum's gonna stop at the post office. Can you remind Dad to bring the cards? I've yes, got Georgie's card, okay. Ava's card, and Don't know why he cares about cards. Max's card. And I've got four cards, cards, cards I? Like. always sent cards. Can I get your stamps? Yeah, got my free stamps. I was just talking, I was just talking to the guy in there about all the stamps have to be changed. Well, he said all the post boxes have to be changed. But he said the ones with because they got E, E, Elizabeth II on them, haven't they? All hmm. the post boxes. Yeah. So he said they leave them all as they are unless they break, and then they're changing yeah, to okay. King Charles. Is he King Charles the third? Third. Yeah. We're back now. Dad's here. Pick Dad up, and then we're going to go to Newbury to do some shopping. We're also going to stop off at Cobbs on the way back. Check that out. Actually, it'll probably be shut by then. This is Dad's first time driving since he first tested the car. That's <laughs> why I said I don't bother driving. Well, you got to learn somehow, haven't you? Learn. He's been driving since he was 20. Well, this car. Yes. 
rude, isn't it? I just carry on. Gosh, that was a snake house down there. Oh. Sent us all round the hole, which sent us all round there. Just here, the loudies. Moving out, Aldi's. It's, it's really quiet, actually, isn't it? So we've got to head for Newbury now to get to the angling place for Dad. Um, a lot of traffic. The right problem with this car, guys, is we can't add the roof down when we've got loads of shopping in the back. <laughs> There's a little latch that gives you extra room. You still get a lot of, a lot of open air because you, get, you can get rid of both the windows here. So uh, the angling place is shut. But why? It doesn't say it's shut. It's a Wednesday. It's probably shut on a Wednesday. Maybe. No, look. Closes soon, 5 p.m. Wow. Oh, <laughs> why is there peacocks on the roof of uh, that cottage? The hell? Well, we managed to park up there. There's the car. Oh, you opened the gate. If you open the gate, you could easily just drive down there and park there, couldn't you? Look what's coming, guys. The work boat. This is the one we walked past yesterday. Yeah. You won't be here, so I'll have to. Just a little update for today, guys. As you saw, a big work boat just went by. Well, not just this happened like eight hours ago, but I've just forgotten to do a little update. Um, and yeah, that's the work boat me and mum walked by yesterday. I said, the trouble is, it's got a crane on it, but it's on the wrong side of the lock. It needs to go through the lock to do any work. So yeah, it's come down. And they moored up in front of the lock first. I went down there and talked to the other chaps who were waiting to go through. And uh, they said they're going to use it as a platform. Obviously because the crane isn't too, isn't big enough. they got to get a 100 ton crane in across the field. To be able to loft, uh, lift the lock gate out. Which is just a bit overkill I think. When it's a 3 ton gate. But um, I think that's what they're going to do. And they're going to meet up here tomorrow, all the CRT guys, and come up with a plan. And hopefully by then, they say that they're going to come up with a more definitive uh, time of when this might be finished. So tomorrow we might get a deadline of when the lock gate might be finished and worked and and fixed. But, but guess where that workboat went? Through the lock. It's on the other side. The workboat's gone through the lock. And it went through totally fine without any trouble. But we can't go through. <laughs> It's just ridiculous that you can still use a lock, but we're not allowed to because it's health and safety and liability and all that lot. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I think a holiday boat, I don't know, I think a holiday boat come up the other way and they tried actually opening the lock gate earlier today as well. They wanted to come through and, uh, yeah, God knows what the, um, holiday boat companies are saying to the CRT at the moment because obviously they're, they're holiday makers, people hiring out their boats can't, you know, do the cruises they want to do. <laughs> what day is it now? Is it day three or four? We've been there. Monday we got here, didn't we? Is it Monday? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, Monday we got here, it's Friday now. Day four, isn't it? Yeah, they fall then. Mm. Just put just, some water in. They don't need water. 
But we're going to get it. Mm. We've put the put some containers rubbish. in. And now we need Andy to throw the containers in. We're going to go to Kintbury, aren't we? Because it's nine minutes drive, but uh, Hungerford's five minutes. But we don't know if there's rubbish there. I couldn't find it last time, so we're just going to go to Kintbury. There's no point stopping at Kintbury. No. We're going to look around the farm shop as well. God's sake, Toby, stop following us! He does this all the time, guys. He follows us all the time. What I find funny, though, is that this boat has come through the lock yeah. perfectly fine. Yeah. Just leave him. Go away! The car now. Cobbs' farm shop's there. Just gonna go there in a minute. Car's all right. Not been towed off. No stickers or nothing. Boot fill up. We, need, we can have more room. We need to pull this latch. If you have the latch over this side, this will come up, so you can't put the roof down. We want the roof down. It's quite a nice day. Quite cool, but quite nice. Cobb's farm shop now, just parked up. Have a little nose, probably going to be really expensive. So it's two good for a carrot each, I think. These crisps. Are these crisps? Yeah, they're crisps. That's the most expensive bag of crisps I've ever seen in my life. That's the big one, that's £13.50 for that one. Four, four, seven. It's good to we come out of Hobbs Farm Shop empty handed, uh, don't we, Mark? Definitely empty handed. I think that was probably the most expensive shop I've ever been to in my life. I can't believe the big bag of truffle crisps. We're in the wrong class of shop here, guys. In the wrong class. Oh, you got them? I got them. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid we're too poor to shop there. We're here at Kimbury now. <laughs> As you can see, we're waiting for the train, waiting at the level crossing. It just so happens that the train's coming. There it is. It's coming very slowly. Ah, oh, so there's a station there, isn't there? So at Kimbury now, rubbish bins are just here. <sighs> Wish we were here by boat. <laughs> yeah, well, not by car, but... Yeah, by boat, guys. Yeah. We're still stuck. I think we've got a bit of water in the bottom of the trolley. I'm surprised this thing's waterproof. I didn't even know that. <clears throat> yeah, and I got a bit wet. And me. <laughs> got two in the boot and nothing dripping from them, so that's right. <clears throat> this is the hard bit, guys. I'm trying to guard this little wheel there. Isn't that bad with us? I thought he was going to come with us. God, one last thing. Hold on. God, is that like giving birth again? That was what? No, oh. you don't give birth. <laughs> the little got. The little boat we met the other day when we were walking. Shut the lock gate, yeah. Sure. And shut the lock gate for him. And he's here and he said he, there was a meeting at one o'clock. Well, the guy in front of him said there's a meeting at one o'clock about what they're going to do about the crane. So they've had the meeting and he was waiting in his boat and Ozzy the fuel boat guy was waiting in his boat for them to come to say something but nobody came and said yeah, anything. Didn't so. give us time of day to update you. So we still don't know what's going on really. No customer service CRT. Absolutely <laughs> terrible. We haven't got a clue, so we're just going to have to keep an eye on the website, I think, and see what they yeah. say. That's all we can do. You made it back. Oh, you ignorant get. Yeah.